Two at noon, the Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia will soon reopen. It's been closed more than two weeks due to flooding in White Sulphur Springs. Today, the resort CEO and owner Jim Justice says the Greenbrier will open its doors to the public on Tuesday. WSLS 10's Duke Carter was at this morning's announcement and joins us live from the Greenbrier. So, Duke, how are people feeling about the resort reopening next week? Good afternoon, Patrick. Well, we spoke to a bunch of people here at the Greenbrier Hotel, and workers here are thrilled to know that they're going to be going back to work on Tuesday. Now, we did travel the golf course, and that, of course, was also impacted by the storms and floods here in White Sulphur Springs last month. And the CEO and owner of the Greenbrier, Jim Justice, says the resort is one of the largest employers in the area. Almost 2,000 people work here for the summer, and it has an impact on the West Virginia economy. And that's why he says it's important to open a hotel on Tuesday. We do have damage. Our grounds are nowhere close to pristine. But I'll promise you this. You being here, you will still have a Greenbrier experience beyond belief. Now, the Greenbrier has housed flood victims since the storm has hit the area. And again, the hotel will open on a 12, excuse me, at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. And coming up at 6, we'll hear from some of those workers who are going to be going back to work at the Greenbrier. Live in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia, Duke Carter, WSLS 10.